What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Folks, it's Thursday. It is the last day of August. It's August 31st. September is right around the corner as the days tick on by. We are getting that much closer to a bull run, the most parabolic bull run that you have ever witnessed in crypto currencies history mark my words it is coming a lot of people are losing faith a lot of people are losing doubt and i am here to tell you you should not even if we go down one more time the bull run is not canceled 2024 2025 are the golden years November is when the bullish uptrend is going to kick in remember in yesterday's videos for those of you that tuned in September is usually a pretty bad month for crypto six the last six months in crypto, in the month of September, it has been red. It has been bloody. Do we expect that this September? Time's going to tell because tomorrow September 1st. Let's see how the markets are going to play out. But that does not dictate where we go in the future. And the future is right around the corner. In this video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and its next move. The Evernote airdrop. What you need to know because today's the last day for you to qualify we'll talk about the exchanges that are supporting it. We're going to get into Coinbase and XRP because there's a rumor floating around. And I don't think it's a rumor. I think it's true. But Coinbase stacking up on XRP and on-demand liquidity usage. Then we're going to talk about automated market makers. And I'm going to leave you off when I end this video with a very positive tweet that should help uprise and bring your spirits up because we are that much closer, folks, to the bull run coming. And yes, XRP is going to absolutely skyrocket. So without further ado, let's jump into a Bitcoin. $27,271 is currently down 0.66% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at $1,709. It's down 0.73% in the past 24 hours. USDT and USDC both coming in at 99 cents as XRP is a mean lean 52 cents. It's currently down 1.01% in the past 24 hours. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $1 trillion and 93 billion now if you didn't tune in yesterday go give it a watch over 1500 people in less than 12 hours have watched this we talked i talked tdn the tdn token is coming the pre-sale is coming september 4th i am advisor on this project i am fully backing it what the tdn token and the tdn marketplace is going to do is bring interoperability between different metaverses out there and between different blockchains Corium, Rise, the XRP Ledger, <coughs> the Wax Chain, which is built out on Ethereum, are all taking part in this. They are all involved. The TDN token is going to have massive utility. It is going to be listed on a tier one exchange slated for Q4 of this year. And it is in talks to bring in one of the largest market makers out there for up to 20 Five million dollars a fair launch is going down you need to get involved bitcoin what's btc's next move he grabbed crypto tells you right here he goes joyful vibes of grayscale leading the session yet the market thrives on ups and downs anticipating another intense dip when happens regains pain often follows still eyeing the cme gap 21k closure since march 2023 mentioned it before but not staking everything on it a leap to 34,048K is, it's coming. But the big query remains, will 21,000 hit first or will 48,000 shine? So he's talking to still a CME gap that hasn't been closed. You can see it's sitting right around that $20,000 region. Does it have to be closed? It doesn't have to be closed. But more often than not, what we see throughout the history is that these CME gaps do get closed. They do get filled. So as I've talked about on this channel, we could see another push down by Bitcoin, bringing it down to that $20,000 region. What is that going to do for XRP? It's going to take it down as well. I'm telling you, and I got the chart coming out. There could be one last crazy, crazy dip in the market, folks, before we head back on up. Pay attention. Do not be afraid. As I always stated on this channel, you have two things that you should be doing. And you need to figure out your path and what your goals are. You either sit in your hands and you do absolutely nothing. Or you get ready. And you start stacking some cash. Whether it be 25 bucks a week, 50 bucks a week, 500 bucks a week. You save your pennies. You stay home. You don't go eating out. 
You stay at home, you cook your food, you skip a little date night, you do a free movie in the house, but you stack what you can stack. And if there is a dip, you buy into the dip to help you DCA. That's how simple this is. It's not rocket science here, folks. Or rocket science, I should say. Excuse me, it's early. Not financial advice, but I'm just telling you, the path to greatness is coming. You need to be aware. Airdrop, what's going on with this? So Evernodes, the EVRS token airdrop, it's coming. The snapshot is taken September 1st. In order to participate, and I'm going to tell you about the three participating wallets slash exchanges that I know, BitTrue, Uphold, and the Zum Wallet. All you have to do is hold XRP. Up to 50,000 XRP. You hold up to 50,000 XRP, you will qualify for the airdrop. There is no trust line that needs to be set. All you have to do is hold your XRP on BitTrue Uphold or on your Sum Wallet. Is Ledger going to support it? I don't know. I don't have an exact or a definite answer for you. But if you want to play it safe, keep your XRP in one of those three options. Here's Uphold's announcements telling you that they are going to support the airdrop. So it says, this allows Uphold's XRP holders to qualify for the Evernote airdrop simply by holding XRP on Friday, September 1st at 8 a.m. UTC. XRP holders will be airdropped to EVRS token in proportion to the amount of XRP held up to a value of 50,000 XRP tokens. This measure was implemented to ensure a fair and equal distribution. The Evernote airdrop date will be announced at a later date. Stay tuned. So folks, that's it. It's that simple. Just hold XRP. Hold in your sum wallet up to 50,000. If you have 100,000, create another sum wallet, put another 50K in there, and you get two. That's how easy it is. No trust lines. Remember that. If you see trust lines out there, you don't need to set them. Just hold. Sit back and relax. Zach Richter covered this. This is from Jack the Ripple. There's some interesting news about Coinbase and XRP. Since so just in, over eight months, Coinbase received 20 to 60 million XRP from Ripple between the 27th and 30th, strongly implying a Ripple affiliation. Now, why would Coinbase receive 20 to 60 million XRP? This isn't retail buying, folks. If this was 20,000 to 60,000, maybe we say it's retail because Coinbase doesn't do that much liquidity. You can look at CoinMarketCap, you can pull up the exchange, you can see the amount of liquidity uh, that they do per day. 20 to 60 million is a boatload. They are obviously preparing for something. But the question is, and what brings to mind is this post that John Deaton put out there. Fast and free for all Coinbase users. Who remembers this? You can now send money to any user of a Coinbase account anywhere around the world using XRP or USDC. By using cryptocurrencies that are optimized for cross-border transmissions, you can send and receive money virtually instantly by sending those cryptocurrencies and having the recipient convert them into local currency. The zero fee for sending to others Coinbase uses and a normal on-chain network fee for sending outside of Coinbase. Could Coinbase perhaps be ramping back up their free international money transfer service? Maybe that's the reason behind the 60 the 20 to 60 million XRP that they are wanting to get. We jump into this, automated market makers. So how can the automated market maker, which is coming, generate passive income? Here's an article put out by the Crypto Basics talking about it. He says, on-chain liquidity and the role of automated market makers. He emphasizes that liquidity, one of the most significant parts of a market, is crucial in determining an asset's price. As a result, Liquidity pools play a crucial role in decentralized finance as they help introduce significant or sufficient liquidity. According to Panos, they function as the backbone of decentralized exchanges, AMAs, which automated market makers included. A liquidity pool is a pool of funds locked in a smart contract. Its purpose is for trading and providing liquidity to decentralized exchanges, enabling users to swap tokens. Liquidity pools are nothing without liquidity providers. Liquidity pools deposit funds to these, or liquid, liquidity providers deposit funds to these liquidity pools to contribute to liquidity and earn a share of the pools by trading fee. Now, what I want you to know here is that the AMAs aren't just a sit back and relax strategy. There's no guarantee that you are going to make, you know, two to three percent back. You could lose here. It states. While the income generating strategy appears attractive, most traders shy away from being liquidity providers because of the concept of impairment loss. 
Impairment loss occurs when the value of an asset in a liquidity pool changes over time, causing the pool's value to differ from the assets were simply held. It occurs when the price of the tokens in the pool move away from their initial ratio. While perceived as a setback, Marax clarified that the IL can be part of an effective strategy. For instance, liquidity providers can leverage the IL as an automated dollar cost averaging approach. By providing liquidity to an XRP stablecoin pair, liquidity providers can accumulate more XRP in the face of price fluctuations. Addressing the common fear of price sur surges, Marcus turns to the chart. He claims even if XRP surges 200% to 600%, the IL remains manageable with much of its offset by earned fees. He demonstrated that the IL remains neg negligible as long as relative price of the assets in the liquidity pool stay within a 50% range of the entry point. Folks, as always, make sure you do your own research on this. Now, I want to leave you with this. Folks, the bull run is coming. Just sit back and relax. XRP is going to go absolutely insane this cycle. Whether we start the run now at 50 cents or we see a setback to the 20 to 30 cent region, the targets have not changed. 350 to 450, and I'll cover this more in the next video. All your targets to look at. A dollar fifty is your first stop before a cool off period. Once you see XRP at a buck fifty, you know it's on. It's on like you have never seen before. Three fifty to four fifty. If we can break out of that four fifty range and get up to the six dollar range, you can expect the parabolic blow up top, which is going to take you anywhere from fourteen to about twenty four dollars. Those parabolic blow up tops happen very quick and very fast. So make sure you have a plan set in place for what you are going to do this bull cycle. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.